Hey guys, thanks for coming back. I wanted to show you guys so many dresses tonight. I recently won an auction from liquidation.com of 75 night and evening gowns. They were in um, questionable condition, missing zippers, buttons, rips, tears, stains. I had to go through them all and I'm going to show you guys what's salvageable. Not everything was and I'm going to be upcycling these dresses. I'm going to be repairing them, mending them and putting them up on my Etsy page. I'm excited to show you guys what I've got going on so stay tuned. All right, this dress has pockets. I really love this dress, but I have to be careful with it because it has a slit all the way up to the waist. <laughs> it's still new with tags. It did have some drag marks on the bottom. And I've sort of started to repair them I'm not happy with the repair, so I'm going to do more with it. It's still puckered. There were drag marks and there were holes in this dress. And you can see the pucker where I repaired it up close. So I'm going to upcycle this dress and where the puckers are, I'm going to maybe put an applique or a bed of sequins um, and then add sequins to the rest of the dress in a flowing manner that includes little patches in random places. I think that would be really beautiful. It's gonna be quite time consuming, but worth it, I think. Um, this dress uh, with the drag marks went for $133.99. And you can see why, it's a beautiful dress. And yeah, I was excited to show this one to you guys, so I showed it to you first. Let's see the next one. Okay, it took me three tries to get into this dress. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach these spaghetti straps or tighten them so that they don't fall down. They are attached at the top of the shoulder, but the reason I had such a hard time getting into this dress is because the first time I got into it, I missed this strap and it was like down and it looked like a one strap dress when I just didn't put it on right. And then I thought I had it, and then I turned around and I missed this one. So that's the first upcycle I'm going to do to this dress. Other than that, I have long-term plans for this dress because there's so much embroidery on it. It's really a beautiful dress. It's got a zipper here and buttons here and a collar and I inspected it and the buttons are a little loose and I think that's how it made it into the auction. Um, it originally sold for $158. I'm going to enhance the embroidery to the best of my ability without doing too much. Um, I never want to do too much or anything that I can't walk back. So I might either add these miniature pearls or 
the crystal here and there, maybe a couple, not too many. And then I have different, I think I have blue sequins. So maybe like a light blue sequin or the, I, it's not navy, it's royal blue sequin. And I really like the sleeves on this dress. They have like a nice, perfect elastic on them. So if you wanted to wear it as a three quarter sleeve, you can. I love three quarter sleeve dresses. So I think it's great, but I am only five feet tall. This isn't quite the right dress for my height. <laughs> so keep that in mind when you're looking at these dresses tonight that I am just I'm only five feet tall, so in comparison, whatever your height is, um, you might look a little different in the dress than I do. All right, next dress. This dress is really great. It's a Betsy Adam dress. It originally sold for $199. And I can't find a thing wrong with it. It was in the lot with the rest of the dresses. Um, most of the dresses that I found had like rips and tears and buttons missing and needed work. And this is one of the few dresses that really didn't have a flaw. And so I'm going to be really careful with it but I am going to add to it. It's very simple and that's not really my style. I usually like something shimmering somewhere. So I was thinking I have this, um, strand of jewel here and I can cut off a small piece and sew it within the drapes, the folds of the drapes. But whatever I do with this dress, I wanna make sure that I also do something back here too. I could do some tambour embroidery in the drape of the dress with some seed beads. Maybe gold seed beads. I don't know, what do you guys think? Green beads? Something to add a little more to this dress. It's really beautiful. All right, let's see what's next. Okay. I'm not sure how to explain what I have as a vision for this dress. It's a Bee Darlin dress in like this poly spandex material that's so soft. And it has ruching on the back. I think it is just crying out for black sequins or maybe like a crystal belt embroidered on. Um, whatever I would do, I would probably um, make it disappear as it approached the ruching in the back of the dress. But yeah, isn't it gorgeous? Look at that. Ugh. Ugh. I want to like vogue in this dress. <laughs> This is a DKNY dress that originally sold for $229. When I got it in the lot of night and evening gowns from liquidation.com, it had a big tear in the side of it. And I think it was still selling for $158. But I'm noticing that it doesn't really photograph or film well, which is why I want to enhance these ruffles with maybe some ivory or white lace. 
I think I might have some blue lace, but I'm not sure if that's gonna do the trick or not. I'm gonna have to do some experimenting by like holding the lace up next to the dress and seeing how it looks. Um, it's got this sparkle to it. It's a navy on navy sparkle. I don't know if you guys can see that this is a navy dress or not. I hope the lighting is okay. But yeah, that's what this one looks like. And I'm ready for the next dress. What about you guys? This is an Adriana Papel dress. I lost track of the tag, so I am not sure what the original price of this dress was, but it's heavy with sequins, and it came with a bag of sequins. I think for this dress, I'm gonna go with a classic look because it's a more muted sort of style. I'm just gonna embellish it with pearls, miniature pearls. Um, Wherever I think I can enhance the sequins, that's where I'm going to add the pearls. And yeah, next dress. All right, this one's a little big for me, so I'm kind of holding it together in back. But this is what it looks like. It is an escape dress. I'm trying not to step on it. Um, I think that I'm going to add jewels. I'm going to sew jewels onto the top point of the ruching and drape it with the fabric and sew it again on the other side at wider points. I think that'd be really beautiful. I'm going to get into the next dress because I love wearing dresses that fit me. Okay, that's a little better not perfect but it's closer I don't have to hold it on <laughs> this is an SLNY dress and the tag didn't have the price on it anymore or the original price it is like a poly spandex a lot of these dresses are like a poly spandex blend they're stretchy um, this one has a lace like a floral lace with gold sequins on it. I think what I'm gonna do with this dress is add some tiny crystals, um, at least over the bodice, and maybe they'll disappear as they hit like the top of the thigh, um, just to accentuate the gold sequins, I think that would be really nice. It's got a slit up the back. There's a zipper here. Um, I couldn't find any damage or rips or tears or anything with this dress, so nothing needed to be mended. It just needs to be upcycled and we'll be ready to go. Okay. Welcome to the final dress of the evening. I love the way the skirt moves. It's so beautiful. This is Alex Evenings. That's the name of the label. And it had a damage tag. But I inspected it and I couldn't find any damage to either item. This is what it looks like without the jacket. It's got 
this, it's not a detachable top, but it's a separate top from the dress underneath. And the dress is two layers. Is it two or three? It's two. And when I first looked at this, I thought it was a bit matronly. And then I realized I'm at the age where maybe I should own something matronly. I've never had a suit dress before. So I think that I am possibly going to hold on to this one. I just love it. It's beautiful. The sequins are there. I don't really feel like it needs any upcycling at all. There are dresses that I want to show you guys that did come in the lot of dresses that I got from liquidation.com. The really cool dresses. They're actually hanging on the wall right behind me and I wanted to walk you through each one so you guys can see the variety of what you get when you um, bid on dresses there. I am not associated with liquidation.com. I am just a dress enthusiast, um, just to let you guys know. This is my third attempt to show you guys this dress. It's so beautiful. It's worth recording again. My camera keeps deleting it when I go to upload it. So here it is. This is the first TLC Say Yes to the Prom Dress dress. There are three of them and you will see the other two after this one. But this one is so worth showing you guys again. Look at how beautiful that embroidery is with those little tiny jewels. This one originally sold for $209. And here's what the back looks like. It has an asymmetrical strap that is fully embroidered. Well, two uh, straps that are fully embroidered on the back. And then on the front, it's just one strap. This is just the hanger ribbon. Um, I really hope this one uploads so you guys can see it. If you like this dress, let me know. And we'll take a look at the next one. This is a dress that you just would love to be seen in. It's got this gorgeous sparkle to it. And it's got a skirt underneath of tulle, if I could show it to you. It does shed sparkles. See the tulle underneath? It is gathered, so it's more of a full skirt. This is what the back looks like. It originally, it is a city studio dress. It originally sold for $159. I inspected it, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. So, I think maybe one of these straps might have been damaged. Nope, those are okay too. I might upcycle this dress. It's a little plain, despite the sparkle. So we'll see on this one. You might find this one on my Etsy page. Make sure you guys check that out. This is another TLC Say Yes to the Prom dress. I'm gonna show you guys 
the little jewels on this dress. They're cold. <laughs> they make it icy. Um, this is like kind of a more cottagey dress with the way that the top is. Um, the corset, unfortunately, is torn. I can show you where I can stick my finger inside the dress because this mesh has torn where it meets the corset. Um, this is just such a stiff material next to such a delicate material that it um, someone might have tried it on and maybe accidentally tore the dress and that's why it ended up in the um, auction. Uh, it originally sold for $189. I'm going to do my best to repair her. Um, there will be no upcycling of this dress, but I might resell it and list it somewhere else besides my Etsy page. So you might see it around. If you like it, let me know. And let's take a look at the final dress. This dress had a torn strap and I might repair it again because I'm not sure about the repair that I did. But this is another TLC Say Yes to the Prom Dress dress. And it's got like stone, like shiny stones all over it. They're real tiny. Here, I'll show you. This dress originally sold for $189. This is what the back looks like. It's got the drop on the back of the dress and it has like a crisscross spaghetti strap. Um, after I fix the strap on this one, I'm going to list this for sale also, so you may see her around. If you like it, let me know. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I had a really good time getting dressed up for you guys. Please subscribe and watch more of my videos. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.